Hunter. What's up? How'd it go for you in the front seat? Went pretty good. And this here travel pillow. I slept like this most of the night. How many hours did you get? About five? I only woke up once. So you're ready to go then? Oh, I'm fired up. <laughs> we're hiking up the mountain this morning. Because Warren and I roosted two or three long beers up in this spot. We saw them last night on a private field. But they were just pretty much marching straight towards the public. So we came back by that last light and Kyle howled and they gobbled up in here just right in the inside of public. So we're gonna, we're hiking up here this morning. We got Dylan with us. He's got a tag. Way up here now, D. Way up here. We're gonna get up to the top and try and get close to these birds. See if we can call them onto the public. Birds are gobbling. They're ways down this hill though. There's two long beards gobbling. There's more turkeys than that down in there based off what we saw yesterday, but two of them are gobbling at least. Maybe we can pull one of them up here. Long walk in the dark <laughs> just for them to go the other way, isn't it? Yeah, we walked, climbed a lot of elevation, <laughs> walked a good ways get up here at a good high spot hoping that they might come up this way but they didn't at all we're probably gonna have to back out of here and go all the way back to the truck and start going for that bear and two cubs up here It's like a blonde black bear. Is that what it is? I didn't know if it was. I don't think there's grizzlies in Colorado, is there? I don't think so. Oh, that one's climbing a tree. I thought it was a mountain lion at first. Because those cubs were playing. They were like up on their back leg. I didn't know, like I could see something moving. I don't know what the heck it was, and then Ted started loading his gun. I was like, this might get interesting. I thought he saw a gobbler or something. Uh, I thought it was a mountain lion when I first come up, because it was, they're blonde like that, and they were, the cubs were back like this, swatting around at each other. So I was like, holy crap. And they're not very far. <laughs> it's telling me, like, get down. I'm like, oh crap, there's a long beard up here. <laughs> Sucker looks pretty brown to me. Pretty brown. Not nearly big enough to be a grizzly bear. Hey, bear. Get out of here, bear. Hey, hey bear. Hey, hey bear. Hang on. First bear pin I've ever put on the Onyx map. 
I don't think I've ever seen one out in the world. Turkeys are winning today, guys. Usually when we find birds, we're able to do something with them, but today the only turkeys that we've heard have been on private. We haven't found anything on the public land yet. We actually have a lot of days just like this throughout the turkey tour where we're not on turkeys. And this is what we spend the majority of our time doing is trying to find them. Did manage to find a black bear sow and two, two cubs. And there are turkeys in the area. They're just not using the public land much. They're down in the private fields next to these creeks where there's more moisture and green vegetation and stuff. So it's back to the drawing board now. We're gonna go back to the truck. Maybe we can turn up some turkeys before the end of the day that we can either hunt this evening or in the morning. That is a wildfire there, for sure. Making moves, Ted. Yep. Don't know exactly where we're gonna go yet, but we're gonna try something different. A lot of resident hunter pressure. And the season's been going now for way over a month, so as you can imagine, the birds have been hammered pretty hard up to this point. He's just about finding one at this point and wants to play. I think we will. We're just gonna have to look around a bit, burn some fuel. See them bobbing their heads? Three guys, four guys. See? Yeah. Are they toms? Look like that might be Jake's. Pile of turkeys just now. We've been going up all these roads and trying to find birds and we've been finding a bunch of tracks and stuff along the roads. But the, all the sign we've seen is pretty old. Lots of turkey turds and tracks and stuff. And we finally just found some birds. It looked like it was all hens and jakes though. And I was glassing them. As far as I could tell, that's all I saw. But there's turkeys in here. So we've seen a gobbler on the far north side of the piece. And now these turkeys right here. That's good. Yep, can't beat that. Nope. Turkey's got one right down here. in the morning. We're gonna slip down here pretty much right where we were last night trying to roost this bird. We only gotta go 150 yards from our camp right here to get to him so we'll get as close as we can. Hopefully call him in right off the roost. I mean it's a good chance he lands right there. It looks like there's a little opening down there. So he's got him a nice little runway right in front of us. That's what it looked like yeah. So hoping we can get him killed this morning.
headed back in the same area where we hunted this morning we were on that turkey with all those hens he eventually quit gobbling we chased after him for an hour or so and we didn't push it any further because they seem pretty comfortable back here they're living almost entirely on public land 
there's no private land anywhere close to us right where we're at and we haven't seen any other people back here so we've kind of been playing this one conservatively we've been farting around all day checking other spots trying to find a lonely gobbler haven't had any luck doing that so it's about four in the afternoon now and we've come back in here to the same spot right over my shoulder as where we hunted this morning and we're hoping we can strike this thing up again this evening before he goes back to roost would rather find a turkey that doesn't have so many dang hens but this is the world we're living in at the moment and we're in this kind of pretty arid scrub brush there's not much water but there's turkeys here for some reason let's go see if we can get this thing fired up He didn't gobble, so we're gonna jump in the truck and keep searching. Should we keep going or? Uh, there's an L. There you go. Like I said a while ago, we were going back after the turkey that we were on this morning that we almost got a shot at. And in the process, we found a camp right next to where we were hunting that turkey in two trucks. And neither one of the guys was in the trucks. They were in there hunting. We only heard one turkey in there this morning. And I'm sure those guys are on the same bird. So we just left it. If there would have been more than one longbeard in there gobbling this morning, we might have stayed and stuck it out. But with at least two other hunters in there, there ain't no sense in three or four of us going after one turkey. So we've moved over to a different spot where me and Ted heard some birds gobbling a couple mornings back. And we actually didn't go after them because we got on a different turkey in the process of going to these. So we're going to try to roost these this evening. We got that fire right here close by, so it's smoky. Big fire over here. Tough sledding. <laughs> you think that's from the smoke or what? I don't know. It's pretty dang smoky out there. Nosebleed, up in the nosebleed section. Trying to roost. No luck though. <laughs> Better than a stick in the eye though. I don't think anybody heard a single <laughs> turkey on public tonight. <laughs> nah, we got nosebleeds and no turkeys roosted though. So. There goes the fire truck. <laughs> Good situation. Maybe we should get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll figure it out. 